Hi everyone. Everybody's always asking me, Greg, how do you get stuff so cheap? Well, you know, today I'm going to do an open box review on my latest score. But before we do that, we're going to get on the computer and I'm going to show you how to get on Amazon and not only look at their sale items, but to go to their open box reviews and what tips and tricks I use to get the best deal. So that when you get something in the mail, you can tell your friends, hey, I saved 20, 30, 40%. But stick with me. We'll be right back. Hi everybody. So here we are on the Amazon site and if you're lucky and you want to find something cheap maybe they have a Cyber Monday sale which you can click on or it also be down there. But if they don't have a sale then you can always go up to the bar up here and type in open box. Now this is good for open box all departments. This is good for if you're just shopping in general and you want to see all kinds of open box things but here's the warehouse deals these are things that are scratch and dented and people return and whatever the case may be and you can just you know go through this whole thing and look for it and see if, if what you have is there um, but let's just go back to the page um, you have a item specific thing you're looking for uh, example I was looking for a camcorder it was the new Panasonic WXF991 it was all great and all wonderful until I saw the $929 price tags so, you know, Uncle Greg also saves money because he always goes down about, you know, two versions back. I mean, trying to keep up with the Joneses and buying the latest and greatest will kill you. So, that's what I did. I went two versions back and I found this W580K, you know, and because I'm a Prime member, it's going to give me a Prime deal here. But it lists for $399. The Prime price is $299, which means I get it delivered for free maybe there's a couple dollars off maybe there's not and it tells you everything is great but if you keep scrolling down all the way to the bottom then you're gonna see this new and used and the new and used is you know the warehouse deals or the open box deals or it's somebody trying to sell you know used item so if you click on that you'll see them all listed now what's interested about interesting about this is it's going to tell you the price it's going to tell you how much it is and then it's going to tell you um, what condition it's in. You really need to click on that and read what the condition's in. For example, the box we're going to open here in a little bit and go through, um, it said it was scratched and this and that and the other, so we're going to see just how scratched it is. Then it'll give you the delivery options, who it's fulfilled by, in this case Amazon, and then over here actually who it's sold by and the ratings you can click on. You know, so pick somebody that you like you know if you're comfortable with the third party dealer great if you're comfortable with Amazon great you know if you're comfortable with the manufacturer great you know sometimes these are available and sometimes they're not now I want to go back to the list here and I just want to show you something real quick and that is let's go back up to something ridiculous here for a minute well it's not going to show one on this one but there's at times when you see you know prices here and the prices will say like you know two thousand dollars and then all of a sudden you know the little buy it now price down there is really ridiculous it has something like you know 150 bucks or something um, I know what we can do we all can right so here I am at the gimbal player. page and as you can see we got the Zyron crane normally it's six hundred eighty nine dollars but you know like before I say oh Man, they got three new for 400 bucks and one new for 499 So, you know, I can just click right here on this. And let's just go to the more buying or the open box. And it goes back to the description. And here we go. So now you see this 400. Uh-oh. What condition? Contact me. Never use. Lots of junk. Arrives, you know, way out in the future. But over here. Hey, that's not Amazon. And that's not you know, Adorama or b &H camera, that says contact me before ordering. Really? I don't think so, Amazon. I don't know how they got that past Amazon, but I'm not going to trust those guys. Hey, for all I know, they could all be legit and the best thing since sliced bread. But you know what? I think they want me to go outside of Amazon and sell me some knockoff, and uh, then I have no warranties or guarantees. So, no. Anyways, 
So that's our little lesson for today. You're looking for sales. You're looking for open boxes. I told you how to, you know, see who's shipping it, who's got the deals, what condition it's in. And you make up your mind on which one you want to buy. So with that note, let's go over to the mystery box and see what we got. So I opened up the big box and took the liberty of unpacking everything so you wouldn't have to hear all the crinkling. And inside there, there's a box within a box. Uh, if you remember, when I bought it from Amazon, it's a scratch and dent. They said there was a damage to the original box. So Inspector 19, put it all in this box. Inspector 19, isn't that that little old lady who used to inspect those underwears back in them commercials? Ah, you guys are too young for that. So inside the box within a box, you have the brand new instructions that have not been opened. You have a battery pack, not been opened. You have a USB cable to a little AV jack that is for the power. You can power it off your computer. You have a USB cable and a micro USB on the other end, so I guess you can hook it up to the camera and download to your computer, or you can hook it up to this AC adapter and charge your camera with that as well. And then you have the camera itself. Um, I'm looking all over this camera. <clears throat> Doesn't have any scratches that I can see. Some of the features on this camera, which match up with that um, $1,000 camera. It is full HD recording. Uh, now granted, the $1,000 camera may be a little bit better full HD, or maybe even in 4K, but this is YouTube video land, and I'm not that professional. Um, does have Wi-Fi connections, so I can operate it hopefully from my phone. We'll do a review on this camera once I learn it. But Wi-Fi, you know, an NC, NYC, whatever it's called, ready. Um, that's pretty good. The screen is pops open, has the uh, plastic still on it, fully articulating, so I can do selfies and see what's going on. Uh, another neat feature of the camera is has this secondary camera. Um, you can do that. It articulates around, so I guess while you're doing a selfie like this, either I can show my face within a face. I don't know why I'd want to do that if I'm doing a selfie, or I can sh point it in a different direction and show you a reaction of a crowd or something along those lines. That's pretty interesting. has a 90K zoom. Uh, another neat feature that this has that the other camera has, the real expensive one, is that it has a pause button. So somewhere in here, I can hit it and pause the film instead of actually starting over, which may come in handy and save some editing time. Well, everybody, so if you like the video, uh, please share my video, like the video, and more importantly, subscribe and leave comments down in the notes section or the comment section way below. If you really love the video, there'll be a link to this camera to the Amazon store. Uh, if you follow that link and buy a camera, I'll get a small commission. It costs you absolutely nothing more. But, and you know, to be open and honest, that's what happens with Amazon links. So guys, thank you so much. I just wanted to uh, tell you that we really appreciate you watching our videos and supporting our channel. And until the next time, you be safe out there and have some fun. Bye.